Hello Virgo, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead whenever you clicked on the title at the time it intrigued you. And I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night if you would like some free cards pulled for yourself. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Times, Wednesdays and Sundays. Everything you need to know about the website and channel is in the description below this video for further free tarot card readings as well for some of you who can't afford personal readings. Let's get on with your message and we're going to start with your angels, guides, guardians and ancestors which to me is the most important part of the reading as it helps us to understand why we see the cards show up in this area. What we have is the Rainmaker, the Giveaway, Vision Quest and the Medicine Wheel. This looks like uh, blessings and abundance coming to you in, in such a way that you've got more than you need and, and you're giving away from your bounty, supporting others, helping others, giving to others. During this rainmaking part, it's really odd what I'm seeing here. Um, we have the vision quest, which is like, you're trying to find your way. You're trying to find a, an opportunity. Uh, you're testing all the keys to all the doors, which one is going to open what. And it's, it's almost like you may not realize that you're already there. Uh, the medicine wheel is about being in the different directions, going on these different uh, course paths of yours in your lifetime. That now it's time to step outside of that wheel and look in and see that You've already accomplished all of this. You've got so much of it that you've got some, some gifts that you can give away. And you may not be aware of that just yet. But once you step outside of that wheel, I mean, it's okay to stay in the wheel. Uh, you know, you're in north, south, east, or west. You're looking at different, different aspects of it. In fact, let me indulge you here. Virgo with the exact meanings of those directions to manifest clear blue skies it is important that you take a look at certain aspects of your being enter the medicine wheel from the south and reflect on how you are clinging to events from the past continue to the west and notice which relationships are toxic and drain your energy Step into the north and ask yourself, do I know my passion and show it? At the east direction, visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life. It is up to you how much time you spend in each direction, minutes, days, or months. But when you're done, make sure to step outside the wheel to contemplate your journey. And I think that's what you're trying to do with this vision quest. Contemplate your journey. You may be in the, the last cycle of that review of how far have I come and where am I going that east direction the ending of that review visualizing how you want to live the next chapter of your life so we see something that is not revealed yet you have all of this abundance coming towards you around you to the point where you can just give it away Something of great value here, Virgo. But there is something still hidden from you. Maybe going through this review, we have the moon, something that is hidden. And the hermit withdrawing. That's your card, Virgo, energy. Withdrawing to do that left brain thinking, that analyzing, perhaps overanalyzing. And walking away from something. You are walking away from something you needed to walk away from. Maybe this is why the vision quest has you snagged up a little bit. Still going through the review of the past. We have both Pisces and uh, Virgo and Capricorn energies here in this first spread. Hangman at the heart of the reading um, is all about seeing things from a different perspective that spirit is bringing into you. And I think what spirit is bringing in for you to see, to uncover, which has been covered has been this incredible abundance available to you. This 
steady flow of money. Six of Earth is about reciprocity, equal give and take, steady flow of equal give and take. Three of Fire is your ships coming in. You're going to be receiving like three times more than you expected and only feel you put in the effort for less than that. But it is deserving. The only thing is you have some blocked energies here. Boundaries, barriers, protecting your heart, perhaps. Uh, nurturing self, which is really, actually, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Even if you are putting up these boundaries and protecting your heart, Virgo, there is this healing energy, nurturing self, making sure everything is taken care of, everyone's happy under the roof, everything is organized. But there is a decision that you're going to need to make. It very, mal way mal very well may be that you're in that east direction looking at what's the next chapter going to look like now. And maybe overanalyzing, trying to open all these doors because it hasn't been revealed yet. There is something that you haven't seen yet. And I think what you have not seen is this abundance. It's like, oh. all you had to do was like make your bed and you're going to find a huge bundle of money under the pillow. That kind of Ex revealing something magically and uh, prosperously firm foundation is what's going to be revealed saying well you know what you have more than you thought a uh, hermit is being clarified with the sun light joy happiness cherishing the times that you spend alone Patience, Sagittarius energy. This is temperance. Finding the gold underneath that pillow or mattress. Making the impossible possible. Truth in walking away from a situation. What was the truth? Was the truth that walking away was it the mistake? Or is the truth that is walking away the inevitably what you have to do? Trapped in fear. Worried about that money flow worried about is this relationship going to be fair equal give and take worried about is there going to be enough money if you want something to go wrong definitely keep worrying that seems to bring in that magnetic energy for I don't see this as a result for you though Hangman is bringing you to balance. Hangman is making you look at things from a different angle. That, oh my gosh, all I had to do was lay down on the pillow next to that pillow that had all that money. And I would see it. But I can't see it from this angle. You're going to come to a balance here. From this different perspective that you see something. Material and spiritual Prosperity is there around you. It's around you now. Even if you don't see it, Virgo, it's about to be revealed. Try to stay out of that left brain. In fact, with the sun shining on your card, this is like opening up that crown chakra to receive, to let go of worries, to let things happen for you new beginnings whether you are closed off and protecting your heart enough we've got the zero point field the magic number is zero taking a leap of faith trusting yourself even though you feel like oh i have to protect my heart but i'll try one more time and hope that it works uh, i think this is the magic number where it works that magic key where it unlocks everything fertility um with Capricorn energy, we've got Libra and Taurus energy. We've got someone who is nurturing the home, nurturing self, ready to birth something new. It could be a pregnancy. Ready to birth something new. 
to Avera, this decision you need to make, you may feel involves an emotional loss. It could be that decision you make is to walk away and release, face the truth about a situation that could be heartbreaking to do. Uh, Virgos are no strangers to uh, having to do this at times in their lives in order to regain that stability. There's something that has not been revealed to you yet, but when it does, you know that that decision, as difficult it is, as it is, is going to bring in all of this prosperity. Now, this isn't necessarily all about money. This is about love. All the love that you can give away that you didn't even know you had residing in your heart. Perhaps it's about what you walked away from, Virgo. Is it possible what you're needing to look at to balance yourself from a different perspective? Is that you may be carrying over past baggage, huh? Past baggage into a, a current relationship that wants to birth. Fear of it. Fear of it going wrong. Material and spiritual prosperity, though, tells me that you've got spirit guides coming in here to show you where that prosperity is. And I believe this is both money and love for you. But let's ask the angels about love, where you're at, and advice you need for love. What does Virgo need to know regarding love? This firm foundation too, Virgo, this unveiling what was hidden, this can mean an ascension. Well, and often, most time, means an ascension of a current relationship, rising to a higher level of commitment and understanding. It's also about getting those foundations firm in the home, stability. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's about living in the now. Not the anxiety of the future or the sorrow of the past. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Oh, there's strong magnetic attraction here calling in your soulmate your prayers you're on the verge here virgo of uniting with one heck of a romance a soulmate maybe you're already connected to them maybe you're going through speeds bumps with them but man oh man this love was worth waiting for it is a romance of a lifetime the chemistry chemistry is powerful and you're calling your soulmate in prayers, affirmations, visualizations, this all helps you to bring this in. Love yourself first. Self-respect is very important. If that resonated for you at all, Virgo, please do hit the like, share, subscribe. Check the description below this video for times and ways that you can get free tarot card readings. God bless you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.